Your patient has suffered a cardiac arrest, but we have achieved ROSC. They are hypotensive and need vasopressor. What MAP target should we shoot for in cardiac arrest? The Surviving Sepsis Campaign likes for us to shoot for 65 in patients in septic shock. Some data suggests that patients who are chronically hypertensive could potentially benefit from a higher MAP. The current guidelines for cardiac arrest state that we should shoot for a map of greater than 65, but the quality is not so good. These authors conducted a systematic review and meta-analysis of over a thousand patients from four studies to try to find out the answer to this question. Hat tip to the authors, read these data for yourself. I was most interested in trying to find out how they defined a high map and a low map in these patients. It turns out that there was some overlap between the high map and low map. Let's just go ahead and call the low map around 65. The high map got up to 100, but there's still some overlap. In the end, they did not find any differences between high map and low map in these patients. There are no differences in arrhythmia, kidney injury, or mortality. So at the end of the day, just keep doing whatever you were doing before.